The airline industry delivered more bad news today as ever-rising fuel prices took their toll. Delta and Northwest revealed staggering losses, and for just the first three months of this year, they totaled more than $10 billion. KTV consumer editor Tom Vakar joined us live from the Oakland Airport fuel farm with our story. Tom? You know, even by government standards, these are great big numbers, and these, and these losses just keep on mounting. Blaming ever-increasing jet fuel costs, Delta and Northwest Airlines, seeking to merge with each other, reported respective first-quarter losses of $6.4 and $4.1 billion. Very scary. When you add up $10 billion losses, even assuming that's one quarter, it's uh, absolutely appalling and unthinkable to me. I mean, even us as, as just people are looking at the fares and stuff like that. It's just, it's outrageous, but what do you do? So what about a merger? None of them is liquid. None of them is making money. Why would you merge? A company should merge with somebody who's making money. If you make a negative from one company and you have a negative from the other company and you add them together, now you've got to make life better. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. they, don't just, they, don't give, um, they don't care about any of their clients anymore. But when airlines are hemorrhaging this kind of money this often, it's a fair question to ask. No matter what they do, can they survive? It's not an if, it's a when. Travel attorney Al Analik, author of many books on travel law, has been in and around the airline business for more than 30 years. Pan Am and TWA are two of the perfect examples. On the East Coast, Eastern was the major carrier. They're gone. Beyond mergers, Analik says to cut costs, airlines are parking many of their planes in the deserts. Fewer seats means they'll continue to raise fares. Smaller markets will get less or no service. And he said airlines will impose extra fees anywhere they can. And until they put the meter on the toilets, they haven't exhausted everything they're going to do. Now, one nationally interested airline analyst told me today that if things don't improve dramatically by the end of this year, we can expect some big carriers to simply disappear, as did TWA, Pan Am, and Eastern, along with several smaller carriers. It's that difficult. Reporting live, Consumer Editor Tom Baker, KTVU, Channel 2 News.